Hello and welcome to worship. My name's Jackie and I'm a local preacher from the Western Fells Methodist Circuit here in Cumbria. It's lovely to have you with us today as we worship together. And so we pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you now to worship you. We thank you for your love for us. Pour your Holy Spirit on us and let us know your peace so that we may know your rest. We look around us and we give you thanks for your world. We give you thanks that we can worship together now and that we can know your presence in our daily lives. We thank you that you invite us to follow you, to come to you and lay our burdens at your feet. For your love for us, we praise you. We know that sometimes we struggle to follow in your way. Forgive us when we go our own way. Give us patience, Lord, tolerance and love for others. Amen. And we say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. But to what will I compare this generation? It is like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling to one another. We played the flute for you and you did not dance. We wailed and you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking and they say, he has a demon. The son of man came eating and drinking and they say, look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet wisdom is vindicated by her deeds. At that time, Jesus said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. 
and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Amen. And we reflect on that passage that Helen just read for us. We think particularly of the um, towards the end of that passage, where Jesus says in the NRSV version of the Bible, Come to me all who are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. In traditional version of the Bible, you may be familiar with the words of Jesus as being, Come to me all who are heavy laden and I will give you rest. I'd like to think about those words. Jesus says, come to me. Imagine an invitation dropping through your letterbox. The nearest we'll have probably have come during the COVID pandemic is a request to phone someone at a certain time. Maybe if we, if we have the computer we've been asked to take part in a zoom call or a skype call or all other versions are available different things that we might have been asked to do or indeed the main thing we may have got is an invitation to an appointment but this invitation is from jesus an invitation for each of us not just drop by if you need to, but come specifically to Jesus. A personal invitation. An invitation made from love and care for us. God's Son is inviting all of us to come to him. Jesus carries on to say, come to me, all who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. All who are heavy laden, not just some, not just those who've made a decision to follow him. Not just those in the church, not just those who are worshipping with us now, but all the invitation is for all who find their burdens heavy. And that could be for any reason. Have you been shopping lately? It's quite an experience these days. Either for yourself or for others. Have you had shopping delivered to your door? Or been helped to receive some essentials? There have been many people helping out during this pandemic and making a huge difference to those who have had to, you know, been advised to or wanted to or needed to stay indoors. My routine is altered, but I can still buy milk and bread and potatoes locally. And they're heavy. Imagine your shopping bags, either now or in the past. How good was it when someone offered to help you carry them? Yet if someone helps me with my bags, I can often hear myself say, maybe you take one and I'll take the other. 
and uh, between us we'll manage to to carry the things back to back home i'm glad of the invitation the offer to maybe help me with just some of my things that i have to carry but the invitation of jesus is to bring all your burdens to him reflect on that a bit And Jesus says, come to me, all who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. If you can, lay your hands on your knees with your palms up. I can't show you my knees at the moment, but here's my hands with your palms facing upwards. What would it mean to you? to have your burdens carried for you, to have rest from the things that worry you, to be able to put things to one side. There are some things that we carry with us all our lives and they can be hard to let go of. Even though we might say we want to, sometimes there are things that we hold on to for some of us, our burdens and the scars that we have received as we carry those burdens are what defines us. But Jesus says, come to me, all who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And in verse 30, he says, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. As you sit, with your palms facing upwards, talk to Jesus about your burdens and offer them to him. He wants to take on our burdens and carry them for us so that we may rest in his presence and in his love. Let us think about that as the week goes on as we reflect on this passage and the offer of Jesus to take our burdens and also in the way that Jesus was signposting people to the fact that his way was going to be different to the way that people had been used to. That his way would not be as difficult. All the rules that the Pharisees insisted that people would follow Jesus just really wanted people to concentrate on love of God and love of others and letting that love be known through the things that people do and the things that people say as well as the things obviously that he did and he said that that may make a difference in their lives then and our lives now. So let us think about those words as we go through the week ahead and may God bless us in all that we do. Amen.
and so we pray our prayers for others. Heavenly Father, we pray for all in authority, that they will act with compassion for all whom they serve. We pray for all the peoples of your world, Lord, in their need, for the situ situations we hear or read about. Your world is hurting, Lord. We pray for all who live in our community. In recent times, in recent weeks, we've noticed more of our neighbours out of the window or in the street. And we've got to know people that we maybe didn't know before. We pray for all those who we know who are in need. For those who are ill. For those who are anxious. And for those who are struggling. And Lord, we give you thanks and we pray for all those who help us those who take on our burdens. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen.
Thank you for joining us in worship today. May we bless each other with the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.